Welcome to this episode of DSA TED Talks. I'm Ted, and today I'm talking about manufacturing prototype. The objective of manufacturing prototype is to design a marketable product related to that year's theme. To start off, you want to research around your theme, use any previous knowledge you have to your advantage, and work from there. Start thinking about any problems related to the theme. Next up, go into more detail about your idea. Do similar designs already exist? How can they be improved? Make sure to show a connection between your ideas and your research. Next, get with your team and write down some ideas on a solution. Try to balance visual appeal and mechanical functionality, depending on what would be best for that theme. Don't overcomplicate it. The goal is to create a product that can be mass produced. Take ideas from common products already out there, but make sure to add a personalized touch to it. Next up is your drawings. You should have isometric drawings that highlight all your parts. Be sure to show all the views needed and make sure your drawings match the requirements according to the rubric. The goal for the section is to create a professional technical drawing, so make sure to include units, a part list, and a title box. You should have an assembly as well as unique part drawings for each part that is in your final product. For multiple views for each part, use dimensions, make sure to show all lines, and of course include a scale. For construction, start with your base and work up piece by piece, taking pictures as you go. Make sure to document any manufacturing machines you use as typically you require two of these. Also be sure to show any changes you make throughout your design process. Changes will come naturally in your process, so don't try and force it. A big part of the in-person part of this event is your interview. This is essentially a sales pitch. Think Shark Tank, and be ready to answer any questions related to the manufacturing process of your design. This is a legit sales pitch, so while your materials and your imagined product may be different from your actual product, you should still be ready to answer any questions about them. Any knowledge about how you would market your product should be ready to be presented. Thanks for listening, and a special thanks to Cade Smith and Bailey Hancock for letting us use their portfolio. Make sure to tune in next week.